it's uh, Jason here again at the uh, Retro Computer Festival uh, 2017 and I'm here with Andy Spencer from the Retro Computer Museum. Hello sir. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, no really problem. really appreciate having you guys here. Um, this is the end of the exhibition now so um, unfortunately there's not a great deal to see and everybody's packing away behind us but you yes. Know, but we've got one last thing to show yeah. which is kind of pretty special. Yeah it is pretty, pretty special. What is it? It's a prototype CD drive for the 1200. Right. But it's actually more than that because it's actually turns a CD1200 into a, a CD32. Um, we believe there were 20 made. Right. And we think that this might be the last one in existence. <laughs> the last one? Yeah. You know, and you don't know of any we, others out there at no, all? No, none at all. Do you, have there been any others that you've known of before that have just gone well, AWOL? Or there's, there's a website right. that shows a grey one. Right. And they, they think that was a really, really, really early prototype. And then oh. this one seems to be, I don't know, it just seems to be the only one we can find <laughs> anywhere. Um, so, wow. so the engineer, the lead engineer, a lady um, came onto Facebook the other day and said, I helped design that. I designed the CD32 and then designed this afterwards. Right. Um, didn't know any existed. And that's quite scary as well. That's amazing. So that's, um, that's where, where we are with it, really. Fantastic. No idea at all. Um, we're, so, we're so this, this turns your 1200 into, into a effectively CD32. Yeah, a CD32. Absolutely. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's um, got a bit of a strange connector on the back. Yeah, um, and it, it apparently, uh, I believe it goes into the trapdoor of the 1200. That's what right. we've been led to believe. Um, yeah. We haven't got any cables or any power or anything for it. So unfortunately, it all stays as it is unless any, anybody's got a, a cable for it out there somewhere. Um, but I am, gonna cool, I am going to try and speak to the engineer and see if she can help in any way, shape or form. She might be able to, I don't know. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So how did you get it? It was a barn find. Somebody, somebody cleared out... Um, the um, Cavendish Computer Centre in Leicester a few right. years back, uh -huh. and they literally stuffed it into a barn, a dusty old barn. It was dry, but it was really dusty and horrible. Yeah. And um, they, they phoned me and said, you know, would you come and look at some of this stuff? You know, do you want any of it? Um, they wanted money for it, obviously, because they weren't going to donate it, because they knew what okay. some of it was worth. Yeah. Yeah. I spotted this, literally went, oh my God, walked away from it, because it scared me a little bit, because <laughs> I didn't, really didn't know what it was, and I thought I knew everything You're about the media. Yeah. <laughs> And um, there's also two Commodore P500s there as well. Nice. And um, we, we made them an offer and they accepted it. Um, and Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we did because it's... That's unique. It's unique. And yeah. it's a piece of history as well. It is, it? yes, yeah. absolutely. It's, that's, yeah. uh, um, that's how, so, I mean, in ter what's the, how does the timing work? So the CD32 was... was no, uh, that was after the... The, the uh, 1200, yeah, yeah. They, they, it's, yeah. So the idea they must have been thinking that there's going to be a lot of software out there for the CD32. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. And I think it was just after this that Commodore were in trouble anyway. Mm. And I think that's why maybe it, it didn't go any further than the prototyping stage, because right. then they just haven't got the money to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that anyway. I think it, 90, 93, maybe? I think, something around then, yeah. I think, I think yeah. there's something like this 93. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the truth is, what do we do with it? It's just going to be in a glass cabinet, because... There's nothing else we can do with it. No, no. I think if we did have the leads, I would be. I'd like to check it. Yeah, However, you need to strip it down. Have you taken it apart? Not yet. What's but I am going to at some point. Um, I will document that when I do that. Yeah, because definitely. Obviously, a lot of people would be interested. Uh, there's, we've got some mallets around and hammers and stuff. We can. Yeah, help we you could. Do that. We could. We could. Yeah. So if you bring it back here and we can do that. Yeah, yeah we could. Yeah, 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 that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. we could. We could sort if that. If we hit it with a hammer, that's going to come it's, apart. It will. Yeah. yeah. I think. I don't think there's much holding it together anyway. So. <laughs> Uh, there's a few screws here and there. It'll be interesting to see it's, exactly what it is. Because clearly says, on that sort of connector, it's not, well, a, it's well not scuzzy or... That's always current. interesting as well. Number two, Number two, revision zero. Which is really, really... I don't know, what does that even... Does that mean it's the second of the prototypes? Yeah. Don't which know. is, again, it's quite scary. And you've got the side there, you've got volume and headphone output, so yeah. it probably works independently anyway. And then this side, there was nothing at all, so, you know... We, you could take a guess that connector as well is, well, is this the is, same as the one... The, the, sorry, the DC power input is possibly the same one as the... So yes, maybe. maybe. Maybe, yes. And then but you could trace that. If you look to the board, you'll be able to trace exactly, the Exactly, yes. So that's what we do. Is. We do need to see what's going on inside. I mean, even this might be, we might be able to decode this, hmm. see what, what the hell is going on. Yeah. It, it's just a, just, you know, it's just a little bit of a scary one, really. Also, but. right, left, right, left. So it's got two lots of audio yeah. output. I think it, because about? it went, it would have gone in from oh, the, from the Amiga into here, yeah, and so then from there to the TV yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or to that part. Yeah, so it's a little mix of audio. Yeah, because it would have obviously played audio tracks as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? Well, that's an amazing find. Well done. Well done for keeping hold of it, and you know, I'll, I'll taking the opportunity to go out and see these things and and uh, and keep them preserved. Now it's in a museum, which is awesome. Cheers, um, mate. Yeah, there can't be. Well, there aren't any others. No. Wow. Wow. Cheers. Wow.
<laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much indeed. And yes. actually, you've got something else behind you, haven't you? Yes. Oh, yes, that's What's interesting that as well. Um, this, this thing here was in the barn find as well, and it's one of the original Commodore signs. <laughs> and it's, it's quite, you know, it's, it's, it's immaculate, really. It was really dusty yeah. when we got it. We cleaned it up with baby wipes, and, and, and we're going to keep that as well. So yeah, it's smart. It's, it's just a, a nice piece of you know, history, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, do you, what, do you, any idea what it was for? You, you know, it, was it part I, of an exhibition display? I, th I think or? it must have been part of the exhibition display in the shop. I mean, yeah. I seem to remember it being yeah. in the shop as well. I do? Because I actually went into the shop. I mean, at one, one point, one of my uncles worked there. Right. Um, so I had, I had quite a bit to do with the shop and um, sold my original 1200 to them to get a PC. Right. Because I started doing PC stuff as well. But then in the end, I bought it back from them anyway. So I ended up with my original 1200, which is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I remember seeing it in the shop. But unfortunately, a lot of the stuff did actually get thrown away as well. Yeah, as it does. But we've, we've saved everything that was in the barn find. and um, Everything? Some, everything, yeah. We, oh, we've nice. We took the entire lot, yeah. Oh, nice. um, some of it will be for sale because we just, it's not something we, you know, mm. a lot of the stuff is like 100 copies of a yeah. game here and there. So they, they will be eventually for sale. But right. obviously none of the rare stuff is going anywhere because... We need to keep it and preserve it Absolutely. like you guys do. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. All right. Well, thanks for bringing stuff along. Um, Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming to the, the exhibition. No, Hopefully, thanks for having we'll us. We'll see you again next year. Yeah, Absolutely, mate. We'll nice one. There. Cheers, Andy. Cheers. See you later. That's what I wanted. <laughs>